on this kid's shoulders, but it's a tall task he's facing here. Now, he looked very confident in the walkout, but something that was interesting was Mazin trying to help him put the in-ears in. Uh, he's not gonna be able to help him there as he is the first to fall. Kalantin on the other side delivering the death blow. So door goes down, and MBR still managed to control a lot of this B site. Loud, locked out. Hey, got a little bit of a tag. Bomb still not planted yet as well. Spike rather. Now it's just getting down, but this flank that's coming into fruition. Spike there was planted. a KO dagger that landed in B main as well. Gives the info for this. Maybe Tags an omen flash? A Pancada already used it. Oh. Meanwhile, the fight goes off and back. Spawn, our team will fall. Liazi on the swing will crumble at the hands of Pancada as well. Loud looks so comfortable here. Now yeah, they're not rushing anything. Mazin has to come up huge right here for MIBR. Can't connect. That's such a tough ask. So we'll Ooh, that knife does connect on the two E's. That jiggle will make him found out. But Mazin, he gets spammed almost to no HP. Really nice swing from Sadak. Taking Down matters into his own hands. I got the spike. Getting a couple of kills with Hollis there to trade. Now, what's the response on the other side of this from MIBR? Hollis just got tagged again, and Tui's confident on the swing. Putting down the opposing jet. Yeah. Again, a big advantage here for Loud. The rewalk. an actual hit on the A, relying on your mechanical talent. Tui's still with the outlaw. He hasn't slowed down a, a I mean, bit. He's going to get another one right here. Oh my God. That was pretty. He really hasn't had any reason to slow down. I think it's part of the issue. Yeah, the disruption in these last couple of rounds from everybody on the side of Loud has been nothing short of spectacular. Well, and you think it's about what, what an approach would be for a team of Loud's caliber playing against a team who's making their, their debut, really. As Tui's gets four and Ace potentially on the other side, he's gonna have to do with the Sheriff and you can tell Cohen Z, the good teammate that he is. Mm. <laughs> Unless we'll just sit and be main and take a gunfight. Why not? Yeah, to have been a fly on the wall, because I think, again, when you're this new, I mean, there are so many things that need to be a part of the conversation. Some messy shots from Les there. Paul was able to get the best of them. And so this is very reminiscent of what happened in the, in the pistol round. Remember, mm -hmm. they got the pick mid, and then they had all B space so they were able to get the spike down and ultimately they lost the retake attempt yes but this time it's a 4v4 though oh look at this retake setup right here knives have been popped for two E's. that omen flash doesn't connect onto rich but still a trade here. one for one found blade still on mine two he's not spotting a target oh. paula's on the swing and two is there to punish one more time 59 hp He's taking some damage, Liazzi striking. Shoot again, the name of the game. MIBR fast here off of a paranoia. The blades are popped. He's he. The Hunter Fury out as well. Not going to tag. Sight once again. There's Kawanzin. Falls though. They've got a little bit of space. Paula. Those knives will not do. Still adjusting to the main stage for sure. No, here Tuiz has an op in hand. Shot rattling off, not connecting. MIBR still with slight control. And it's very reminiscent of what we saw in the previous round. Remember, it was Liazzi who flanked around through mid. This time it's Artine who's mm -hmm. gonna try to do the same thing. But as is always the case in these late flanks, timing is everything. If MIBR can deal with some of what Loud are trying to do and allow our team to get to a good position, he may have a shot at this, but Rich and Liazzi crumble. Last player standing. And it's all on our team now, and with just a couple of seconds left and no teammates to fight alongside. Too easy is going to be able to stick the defuse. That's another round the way of loud. Dash away. Can you imagine MIBR are going to want to go fast here. They don't have Rich. He's waiting on the other side. He used it as a shotgun. He gets two, not able to settle on the third, but Kalanzin joins in. Mazin is on the site, but he doesn't have the spike. And again, Rich so far away from the play. Oh, he spotted him. <laughs> that's a very nice shot, though, and that's going to buy a little bit more time. With 30 seconds left, there's still so much left to do. Mazin will fall. 30 seconds left. Rich in a 1v2. So far away from the spike. Louder showing a lot of respect right now to Rich. So he does have an opportunity here to get that bomb planted, yeah. get that spike planted, and... He has a dart up as well. Spike. Omen flash, KO flash, mollies, TPs. Pretty much full utility from the, for this retake. A perfect molly. Does a little bit of damage. There's the molly, there's the paranoia. On these post plants. 
Aggressive from Lau, disruptive from Lau, less opping, dropping Paula. Meanwhile, Tui's is in your lap. So aggressive, so decisive again. And there's trips on A for anybody that's trying to flood. Smart from Liazzi to walk up here. Mm. Tap of the door, comes in. Spamming through, Liazzi was patient, wisely. Not to commit to the cross. No, wow. no Mazine on the other side. Yeah, he's on an island. He just saw oh, Pancada, but his timing might be bad. I say that, but the slow approach on the retake for Loud, it might actually be a thorn in their side. They got to speed up right now because Mazine's about to come up huge. Two big kills there. Kalantin and Pancada fall. Still less than two. He's in the play. And that might be enough. 2v2 now. Tui swings a little bit too far out. Can they off do anything here? Will they even give him the swing? Les gets his one. But that. Only taking like chip damage from his own Soval. Oh, smooth steps. Paula with the smoother shot. So precise on that one. I mean, I get why people are excited about this kid. Had some really nice moments. Common scene falls. Nicely hand by Razine on the swing. Rich now pushing forward, and MIBR again have found success enough to get out onto the site. It does not look like there's a late flank here or anything they're going to have to worry about. So, loud. Yes, they're at a numbers Game's deficit, but they can turn their attention fully forward. I worry about the weaponry, though. I mean, Tui's has an op in hand. He just took a ton of damage down to 55 HP, no armor. Yeah, this is going to be really hard to bring back. Sadhok, he's got a lot to do here. Settles the first, gets the second, not able to land onto the third, but Loud have cut their losses already. They've scattered two E's down to one HP. Is more concerned about saving the op. Wisely so. If Les can't get a couple of these exits, these matter. They don't have a ton of money. Liazzi denied exit. Mazim will fall too. Every single... It seems like they want to go fast towards B. They're going to have to deal with these trips. Paula over the top. Nicely handled to dodge away from the dart, but you don't dodge away from Les. You should run. Meanwhile, everything else is already starting to rotate over too. He's trying to get some high ground with Liazzi waiting on the other side of the smoke, having to wait for the lockdown. He's going to die while it happens. This is very nicely handled by Loud, but the spike is out. MIBR are out. Full info on the members of MIBR as well. A 4v2. This is going to take some heroics from the side of MIBR. Mazin, he was the deciding factor in one of their post plans. Remember how often you've highlighted Loud look comfortable. They look confident in these retakes. They're going to have to do it again. A 4v2 still remaining. in their way, even though they lost one four. Those exit kills that Loud got in one of those rounds previous. He's Ooh. isolated. Yeah, Tui's had really no one to cover him because Les was smoked off. It's a great There's no opener. one to watch that. Now in the smoke, unable to settle. It's a little bit more damage done. Oh, that's a free B site as well. Sleep. Oh, but what is that from Rich? A little bit antsy, a little bit too ambitious of a peek in the mid. The numbers game was one. Oh, look at Liazzi's positioning. He's tucked, he's hidden. Sadak has no idea. Beautiful spray control. And so MIBR have a numbers advantage here. They've got a rifle in hand too far, Zine. Can Lao settle this? The paranoia is so good, but Kamatine seems remaining. to be better. Mazine on the trade. Pankata by himself. Healthy too. No damage dealt so far. Time short though. But Spike has been going off for a little bit. A lot of the own is here on the controller to make a play, and he slipped the net. Yeah, but this crossfire is too deadly. I mean, maybe. I mean, it, the crossfire doesn't matter. He's already gotten his way through. Oh my gosh. It's been smoked off. He's got a challenge to smoke. Was he goes in aggressive? He's got it to one. He's got it to half the flash in his face. He tucks with the shorty in hand. The Remember, it's being seen for the side allowed. Now they can speed up B, but the delay game. It's been pretty good so far. The art zine molly and then the smoke, but loud oh, funnel oh. anyway. They flood out past it. They try to get out onto the site and they're ahead of MIBR here. Yeah, that solo swing from art scene. It, had he waited just a couple more seconds for his teammates to get in, maybe a different outcome. But either way, there's also a mid deposit oh. here of Pancada. Oh, He's gonna he get is, caught out. He doesn't know. First shot goes a bit wide, but Mazine able to clean him up. He's been so good. And so this is going to allow them to swing up from spawn. Less forced to wait on the other side as Paula gets a little bit more aggressive, tries to dash out, but he's been lit up, and now he's dead. 
And my BR, really, you're starting to feel the strong. Mm -hmm. Cause someone's gotta be watching oh. A main. That's why you see this KO all invested into the B main hit, dodging all utility. It will be a 5v5 post plant retake scenario. What a mess. This will be the dark back site too. Not gonna tag anyone. MIBR are gonna have to try to deal and try to replicate what Loud were so good at in the first half. Can they get a retake the same way? That was a good knife connected from Liazzi. They connected on two players, but nothing being done with that. Exactly. Where's the follow up? Where's the go? The paranoia out now. You've got a Molly that's waiting on the other side as Paula expecting some utility that never comes. Still kill. swings out, drops come on Zine, but pays for it with his life. Time, Doug. It's so short. But Liazzi's gotten a couple of kills. How much more can he find though? Less. Forced to sit back. He's so far away from the play. Spam gonna connect onto one, but take a page of his own book, but it might be a dry swing. It's a dry swing. Great Only trade. one kill found though, yeah. yeah. I think that's a W for Loud. That could have been deadly. Yeah, it could have been two, perhaps even three. Keep an eye on Mazine and his positioning. Spamming through, Kawanzin will fall. But again, the duel is only able to get one. Yeah, he's been doing a good job of getting that first blood, that first kill, Paula. But he, just, kind of he gets traded yeah. so fast. And that's massive props allowed for yeah, being able to do that every time. That's how you deal with a star duelist. Or someone who's looking to make a name of himself. That was messy from Sadhawk. Hard team nicely handled, Lice and Picada. Left for loud. They've gotten the spike down. They just need to buy their time here as best as they can survive. Pankata left alone, a 1v2. Artsin weak, he will fall the snap. Honda Mazin not connecting yet. But time is short, 85 HP in armor. Pankata takes a slight step back, buying his time, forcing Mazin to make a play. Those two. And if fraud is anything, he's a competitor, man. He's a fighter. Looks like Artsin's got some fight to him still. Picks up that kill under the IGL of Sadha. The thing about Sadhawk though is like he's playing Neon on a lot of these maps, he plays KO, and he plays it pretty aggressively. He nice does. kill from Liazzi on the Lurk on Less. But it, even when he falls sh short, when, even when he goes for an early aggressive kill and it doesn't go his way, right. he's still able to IGL at that at that moment and yeah. just micro his teammates mid round them around. Beautiful kill from Kyle Hazin. Oh my goodness, that was insta. Talk about microing your pieces around. Cohen's yeah. will pay for it. He will fall. Tui's and Pankata left alive for loud. Oh. And Pankata continues to be Pankata. <laughs> yeah. Now it, it is full info now for MIBR that there was a player in mid, there's a player in B main. This would be a tragic way for this map to end. Yeah, especially with Tui's being so low on the jet right now. Oh, can't connect. Rich not able to settle the shots. The only player from MIB or he's not in the play right now is Mazine, but he's starting to rotate over. They haven't really made their way out. I kind of navigate this as well as they can to close out the map. Paul is getting active, oh. but just not able to punish. Yeah, not confident enough on that specific swing, but maybe the trade right here. Rich has an opportunity to yeah. kill the drone. A little late though. Didn't take his window of opportunity. Maybe that inexperience showing a little bit. He was set up really well. Meanwhile, Mazine dealt de having to deal with three, manages to drop one, but a flash in his face. Now Loud kind of thrown into- Bring this round back, it's a 3v4. 35 seconds left, Sada controlling his troops. Two is one. I mean, just gets obliterated. Oh, Kalanzine does too. he has been crispy these last couple of rounds. Another numbers disadvantage for the attacking side. Honestly, just defaulting in general could be a mess when you're a new team. So these are all things that we need to look forward for for MIBR. That's a great start. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the difference. Is <laughs> get Tui's off the duelist and Paula can just diff Sadak on the other side. Who knows? Hey, it's early on right now. I want to keep in mind that Sadak, he was putting up some numbers on when they played against EG. He was. And again, he closed out the last map, but MIBR with the numbers advantage, they have full control of A, they should be able to get the spike down. We'll see what kind of utility they have left. They don't really have a ton. I mean, Paula's got his nade. That's, that's kind of it. Pretty good nade to split the opposition, but no shots really connecting. Paula gets taken out, Rich with a trade. Numbers the way of the attack still, and it seems to have gotten a little bit better, but 
Loud always punch back just when you think they're going to be able to walk away with a round. Oh, they keep it competitive if they snatch this back. What a nightmare. Oh, cool fact. Right. Ooh, aggression out from Loud. Again, this time a fight towards A. And Paula gets the best of Sonic once more. And everybody else has to fall back into that broken door area. This is a free A site, but all four members of Louder basically grouping up and reconvening for this retake. What utility do they have to go about this? Colin's being concerned about a late lurk towards being reasonably, given how that's been part of the playbook for MIBR on Ascend and now on Lotus as well. Rich with two big kills. Coventina Picado, the only two that remain. MIBR with full control of the site. They've got to spike down. They have plenty of time to settle. And for Loud right now, they're just going to go for damage. I guarantee it. Oh, the damage went the other way. Ooh. As Pancada gets clotheslined, leaving Coventina all to his lonesome. And you're right. Any damage dealt here is a success. The dink is all... Seemed like a very similar approach to the beginning of the round for Loud. They sent Sonic in as aggressively as possible towards A, deny that space from the opposition, and then flip back. I would love to see the replay of how Artsin just got one tapped by Kawazin. Yeah, I missed it too. That man. was a pixel angle. Les has gone exploring. And I couldn't tell if the turret was recalled or if he cleared it, but either way, Liazi and Rich getting a couple kills on the site. Kawazin has arrived on the scene, able to get two. Oh, Crispy three on the round. As the eye goes up, the nightfall goes down. Now they've got them all tagged. And now Les can get a little bit more active and a little bit more aggressive. The timing is perfect. Mazine tries to reposition and play mind games as he the unthinkable. Um, in a real uncomfortable there. They have no choice but to go forward. They drop the nightfall of their own and try to get out towards A. Keep a close eye on our team who's trying to get up towards stages. As the rocket goes up, Kawan Zine. No way, he didn't see him. Still lands the shots on a two ease. Spike planted. So that's the get go down. And the flank that I thought was going to be more active is just now starting to come online. Sadak clearing every corner, every single angle it possibly can. Meanwhile, Kawanzin again continuing to form, making a feast of MIBR. Now, Paulo's left in a 1v2. He's healthy. He tries to pre fire the angle. Less is on the big swing. That's three for Paulo, though. One more left to find. Oh, he almost hit it, but Pancada just. Two East takes a step back, almost gets punished. But the counter punch from Les is too good. Yeah, he just runs all the way and peeks deep. Helps his teammate out. Sadak still has a stun. Waiting on the other side of this door. As the ult goes down, does he have enough space? I like this from Loud so far, just calling off the yeah. flood into tree. You saw over there, too easy. You wanted to get a little bit antsy, you get a little bit proactive with that thrash, but now to have it on the retake, it's new. so much better. Yeah. So, so, so much better, but it is going to get cleared out. It gets info, though. Ooh. The paranoia out. Also creating a little bit of space. Slice down to 18 HP. Hard scene waiting for anyone to drop. As Sonic tries getting active. She just can't. I mean, Loud have really been shut out of this site. They've been shut out of the round. We only see three members here right now for the side of Loud, but there's going to be much more in a second here. I say that, but Tui's might get overwhelmed by Paula. Nice entry. Rich gets another one. But this guy, Doug, hit 13 kills so far. Who's going to stop him? I mean, it's going to have to be. It's going to have to be by committee. But again, MIBR are playing this very nicely. They slow the round down. As soon as the tap goes in, the nightfall goes out. And only Welcome one player hit by that nightfall world. as well. I thought Pinkata might try to ult around it to try to catch him slipping, or Kalanzin just gonna frag out by himself. Three on the round for him so far, why not? He still has a tether as well. But he's so weak here. Hey, 57 HP, and they're just gonna have to deal with the pit. Maybe Les can find something. One enemy remains. What? Here, or Pinkata gets both. Nightfall's used early here. It's two though. There's no other layer to this. I think MIBR have fully set their sights towards A as the rocket goes out. Paula gets over the top, draws Sadox once more, but Les is there on the counter. Still playing backside, it doesn't matter. If you can't hear a damn thing because you've got Kawanzin. That tandem, that duo, tries to keep MIBR back. Hardzine responding with a couple of kills of his own now, down to 39 HP. Trying to play back in hell as the spike goes down. 
Tuiz and Pakata left to try to figure out how they deal with this retake. I think there was a moment where they spotted Tuiz's head, but on the swing, Liazzi and Arcee. Reverted back to this aggressive denial of space A at the beginning of the round. And my VR being corralled and yeah. forced in towards B. And yeah, we've seen this round before. We've seen that entry before, but it was Kawazin the last time around. Sarak was able to get his one, keeping things at four apiece. Tuiz as a stinger in this round as you see this attempt at a take from Lao towards Worm with three out. They've got the paranoia to try to pave the way. Two ease, able to get the best of bridge, upgrade a weapon and continue to farm. Now it's Thrash. And that spit will buy a little bit of time as RT takes a step back. Wow. Leaving two ease, or leaving Picado to his own devices. Two ease not able to settle the shots RT before on the round. The possibility of an ace. Pankata playing around the smoke, the tap of the door. Oh, what a timing. Bala with the entry, though. Very nice snap. Meanwhile, Pankata's going to fall on the other side, too. Oh, they're running circles around him right now. Keep an eye on Kawanzin, though. Currently surrounded. There was no idea that he would have been there. Rich had passed him by accident. So he gets his, but ultimately, that's all it was. Another situation where MIBR have a big numbers advantage. You should run. Oh, and that all as well. This is going to be so hard for Loud to do. Sadak tries satcheling through, or excuse me, dashing through and can't. Leaving less than 1v3. Has to get out to try not to get detained. And <laughs> that's a sad way for the half to end, man. Towards A, and Rich should hear this. Oh. He's got to know. The paranoia is not going to hit him. Rich is patient. What? Oh, but Pankata just, I mean, obliterates him. I mean, forget it. Sadhawk doesn't need to clear it if you have a player like Pankata on your team, apparently. He just knew exactly where he would be. Liazzi's able to respond to two kills of his own, not able to connect onto the third. But Loud, Loud gets the spike down. They get the, and it might work. It's going to work. That's the craziest part of this. It should work. Unless they audible and try to end back B, but it seems like they're intent on trying to get out towards C. Kalanzin will fall. Is that enough for them to flip? Yeah, it is. They've tapped the door. They're heading back A or B, excuse me, but Paul is already here. Spike down B. Last getting one. It's all gone into chaos. One 10 seconds left. Remaining. The spike's not even in hand anymore. Wow. Yeah, there's still a bit of this Koja utility. You've got this high low that's wow. miserable to deal with. I mean, if you're not double, triple facing that, you're going to lose it every time. So the, thr delay. the thrash gets invested. Sadak dashes through the molly that was intended to delay, and he's got an alarm bot at his heels. But they've managed to get out. Yeah, the power of Neon. He just takes all that space so quickly, even through all the utility that was thrown at him. And now for MIBR, that's a great pick. Just spam through the smoke, I believe. I believe so. So 5v3 now at MIBR. No ults to speak of, but they have plenty of guns, they have plenty of utility, they've got plenty of numbers to fight for this retake. Kawantin down low, able to isolate and get two! Not able to connect on to the third, but he's put two, he's in an advantageous position. Still a difficult one, can't connect on... Oh, this is fast, off the rip. It's very fast, but the satchel's not far enough. The eye over the top to try to light him up. No kills found yet. Kawantin down to 12. Meanwhile, a decisive punch back across the middle of the map. The crunch was there, exactly but it was ill-advised. It was a cool and unique idea, but that showstopper, if you're not dead on the target, it just feels like it just does pepper damage. And it just wasn't enough go from Paula. Yeah. And so he comes up a bit short. The crunch across the middle of the map doesn't time up right. Oh, now it's just easy pickums for side allowed. And the worst thing in a situation like this. Yeah. I mean, what? even if I die, who cares? And that molly for the bro broken door entrance, that's the delay, that type of space from being taken. It's only going to tag one. The counter nightfall used. Still not popped. Nobody can hear anything. Two, he's managed to get the spike down with Gecko's help. And Sonic. No way. Oh, there's so much space here. There's so much patience, too. Oh, no. Liazzi's able to turn on him. Snaps. Paula gets another. And now the lockdown that has to be dealt with. You can't even deal with it. This is like nearly impossible right now. No, I mean, you have to. No. Oh, Kawantin. Again, still finding his one. Now things turning back wife. over. MIBR with numbers advantage. But Liazzi falls rich just two. And that was the diffuser. Now Mazin's left alone. Not a lot of time to do this. Not even taken to half. Able to settle onto one, but it's messy. I don't think he's going to have enough time anyway, is he? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Didn't get half. That spam was so... The problem is there hasn't really been follow-up when they've done that. 
Good trade from Liazzi on the loud uh, on the less. But la loud. Getting out onto B. Getting the spike down. Sonic with ult online. A swing out. Just a warning shot. But Rich is able to drop the opposing neon. With two HP left, manages to stay alive, at least for the time being. Here's more. How do MIBR get back into this? So that's another one. Tag two can just go in and hunt. But he's concerned about what's waiting on the other side and wisely so. Now, attention drawn back towards Rich as bullets soar across his face. He's patient with it, disciplined, but he's finally getting punished. Can Pankata get this back on his own? Oh, they're both so weak. He's gotten it down to one. Mazina is sick at no choice. He's just got to hold it the whole way, and he does. Mazine's really far ahead of this. He's past the door. TP's across, now getting caught. He's in a miserable spot here. I don't know if he's going to be able to get out. He's stunned. He's dead. Sadak pushing the pace, getting to. Oh, oh, that's not what he was intending to do there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rich, as everything drops into chaos, but kind of trying to reposition. Rich, the steady hands, gets another, but ultimately falls. Now loud with the numbers advantage, the spike planted out onto the site. Paula and Liazzi left to figure this one out. And Crazy thrifties. I feel like this year more so than in the past, but I mean, if things hold as they should, we're going to be tied at 11. Well, or they won't. Rich gets one. <laughs> Mazine gets another. Hang on. Good omen flash as well. It should be an upgrade for Mazine. If he can Here's the it. vandal. Yep. Yeah. Sonic's gonna try to slip into hell here. Oh, there are so many targets he's gonna have to deal with. Yeah, he's gonna get sucker punched. It's leaving Tweez on his own. MYBR have handled this so well. And yes, perhaps a little bit too proactive from some of the members of Loud, but Tweez in a 1v3. more given that Loud are running a double initiator comp. All uh, with the up. What a shot from Kalanzine. I can't believe he just got that kill. Oh, what's the response out from MIBR? Knowing that you've lost that, you've got to try to go back and protect his Sada going aggressive, going forward, up, picked up. Right, this is just a save at this point. You got to keep the guns. That's a kill we usually see the operator get. Yeah. Kalanzine was so clean with it. Now MIBR are trying to keep some of these rifles up, and Ooh. this is actually, this is very costly for loud. It's not like they have an abundance but, of I money. I mean, they're getting ahead of this. I think it's going to be a late hit on the B though. This is all just a fake. A it's all a ruse. A paranoia, a dash, Sadak not able to connect onto the shot, but as all of that's going on, see they drop the Nightfall. They have the Thrash, not connecting, but Rich is. And this is not as clean from loud as they would have expected, as they would have liked. They're down two numbers here. The ult's gonna make things even worse. MIBR, so close to pushing us to sunset. As less than two are the only ones left standing with 10 seconds left, the spike's still not planted. Tui's forced to try to talk, to try to get the spike down, managing to do so. Now, you have to deal with the five remaining members of MIBR. So heavily outnumbered, so heavily outgunned. Liazzi's weak, sure, but they have so much they can do here, but hang on. They've gotten it down to a 3v2. MIBR have to get active here. They have to push forward. They don't really have a ton of utility to do this here, but it's gotten down to one, two. He's a 1v3, not able to connect the shots. He can and yeah, Loud already have an idea that this is happening. They yep. re mid without making any noise. And there's no trip on this flank. Cam is still up in the back of Elbow. Uh, our team, you can see Spidey sense is tingling a little bit. Puts the cam up, turns around, but now understands there is pressure coming in from the other side. Meanwhile, less striking just when the iron is hot as our team falls. They've gotten the spike down, but they've lost a couple members along the way. Sadak very weak here. And yes, MIBR have control of spawn right now, but it's not planted for them. So this space, it's not the best to be gathered, but they kind of have to. They have, they have, they're left with no other devices. Rich is in a really tough spot here. He's gonna have to request help. MIBR has to come back and assist him as Liazzi falls. Paula not able to settle, not able to be steady. Rich on the swing, gets one with him, but that's all it is. Mazine left in a 1v3, two E's has already gotten the defuse to half. No real challenge, they bullied him away. He might get punished here. We've seen this happen time and time again. That's a nice entry. He might, but Kalanzine's able to turn it. Hit the fault line wow. just like that. And that's such a good setup. Spike down B. Kalanzine's position there was perfect. He was mainly concerned about helping out across the middle of the map. But as soon as there was a hit and there was contact B, he could left. drop the fault line. That delayed the entire hit from MIBR. Wow. 
as all that happened, Liazzi, he took that free real estate up middle, and now he gets that kill. It's a 3v1 for MIBR. Spike planted. Kankata with a bulldog in hand, two smokes, no flash. None of the members on the side of MIBR have any armor. Rich is already down to 12 HP. But for Frankata, it's going to take a lot more than just that. And MIBR are so smart with how they're playing this. Look at that. They're not giving him any fights. They're taking big steps back. Understanding that there are safety valves, three of them built into this round. And Pagata has no choice but to go hunting and trying to find targets. A sidestep of the Fallen, but at this point, I mean, it's done. B main gathered. You see a prod going up A main. All at the moment. Yeah, this has been the story, by the way, of even last map. Paula besting Sadhok in the head-to-head -head duelist battle. Sadhok had what, four kills? You mentioned too, some of these Cover ults in the situation down. that they're currently in. Rich is one away left. from his ult. He's gotten exploring so far up mid here. And the smoke to deny on the other side. He should, oh, he's going back in for the fight. He was, hey, he had safe passage out but instead tries to deal with Loud on the other side of the smoke and falls because of it. Paula able to steady the shots onto Pencata, cleaning him up, 30 HP, but they've gotten so much of an advantage already. Yeah, and already three members playing out, leaving Paula to his devices. If he can get another kill, he's got a job well, well done. Oh, I say that, there's a little flank here. Battle of the flanks, Paula cannot connect. Now everyone's smothered into B main. They might be comfortable here. The problem is they're kept so far away from the fuse. Les is making a lot of noise. Still snaps on Artine. That's a ridiculous shot. Disgusting. Mazine has to go forward. You have to deal with Les. You cannot leave him back here. This could be deadly. This is all off the jiggle of Pancada. It's going to connect on the four members, but there's a smoke. Paula pops his ult. There's no punish. Hmm. But look at the time now. There's still 50 seconds left on the clock. There's still a lot of time for MIBR to play this out. Yeah, they've done a really good job of baiting out certain sets of utility. I think part of the big issue here too is that MIBR don't have space anywhere on the map. I think that's the big takeaway. But with the thrash forward, they turn their attention back towards B and you've got the stack from loud. You have all of the Cypher utility here. Paula gets, I mean, decapitated through a smoke. The swing up from Coventine is only going to get one, but they managed to get the spike down. Ardzin on this late flank across the middle of the map. And again, it's another spam through smoke. It's another dump of utility, but Ardzin's the only one left standing. The snap onto the first is good. It's not planned for him, though. He's got to get active. He's got to try to take this fight now. And, I mean, two E's, don't give it to him. He's gotten it down to the 1v1, but the, the defuse already comes through. Again, these retakes of loud, they're just too strong. Trip top mid, trip A. That's a nice pick on a player who's been pretty much being a complete medicine in the middle of the map. But again, the slow creep up. Now Paula taking yet another step forward. And he's done so quietly this oh. entire time. Oh my gosh, if he peeks right now, he's not going to, but my gosh, he would have found a vicious timing. I really love how patiently he's playing this, so he's not forcing it. He understands there. that the space that he has gained and the pressure that he can apply is infinitely more valuable. I don't know how two he's hit that shot, though. That, That's ridiculous. Yeah, that outlaw is so strong. Liazzi tried filling him behind it. He was greeted by Sadak on the other side. What a mess this has become. The fault line now, and Rich snaps onto Kalanzine anyway. Mazine, nothing but a sheriff. Committing to the TP. Cancels. Should be heard. Was it? Pankad is the only one who would have heard it. Mazine playing on the other side of the smoke. There's no tap of it yet. Rich on the swing. He's gotten it halfway. It's gotten down to 1v1. Really quick. He manages to get past the smoke. Trash goes out, clears the site. Pankata from up top. Tried to play that angle over the smoke. Wow. Wasn't able to find any success. And they're gonna try to funnel out here. They want to take a little bit more space, and they've managed to do so. Look at how far up MIBR are back site. Now giving the space back, but Loud have to invest utility to take that space. Oh my goodness. Another clean snap out from Paula. And the Rolling Thunder, forcing Loud back. Forcing them to play MIBR's way. As the smokes come through, Loud realizes there's no... It. Themselves probably thought it was going to be easy breezy. Again, early aggression out from Loud. 
they're doing it a decent job of setting up Sadok with Kalanzine's utility. We saw it in the previous round. Mm -hmm. We saw it here as well, and he gets his one, but this time not able to get out. Yeah, and when you're even numbers, it usually tends to favor the attacking side when you go one for one like this. Too many spots to hold. Mm -hmm. You're kind of spread thin. That's why you see a one, one, two right now on the minimap. Meanwhile, I might be quietly heading back towards B, quietly heading back towards the one. And yes, there's Cypher utility and a litter across the side exactly unless it's close by. Oh my gosh, the late Cypher ultimate. And look at this, Artsen on the minimap. I know there's a lot of players geared up towards B right now, but he's just taking all of elbow control. And they're just really, I mean, they're giving up A entirely. They have some presence B, but Rich making a lot of noise, trying to manipulate rotation, trying to draw him back into B, while the rest of MIBR hits A. Sadox ran, ran into this. So is Les getting that kill in the mid. And now they're going to understand where the hit is headed. The paranoia is really nice. Can Artsin swing and punish? No. Dissuaded by the fault line, dissuaded by the wingman. So awkward right now. MIBR, they've, they've been... They've Fire met down. resistance. Sadhok and the rest of the members from the other side of the map. A little bit of a body block. Uh, MIBR can punish this really nicely. Understanding they have a timing window. That doesn't connect, but Kelanzine does. What a shot. I can't believe he sticks around and stays there when there's a raise rocket on the board. Yeah, and you hear both, both satchels pop. There's a lot of confidence there. And speaking of confidence, less recklessly swinging into another. Mazine and Artzine left alone. Less is weak, yeah, sure. But they're just gonna get picked apart. And a situation just went from bad to worse. Farzine somehow managing to get another kill, but Tui's has gotten the defuse to 75% already. He can hold it the whole First way. First point of contact here. He's gonna try to get a pop shot and probably get out. Oh, I didn't think they'd pull the trigger on this so fast, and they've hit all four as both Dizzy's go up. MIBR falls. What a slaughter across the middle of the map. Farzine tried buying his time in the cage, tried finding comfort and concealment in it. And it was all for naught. What a strike from Loud. And it was all set up. Devastating. We'll see if MIBR are able to pull something like that off. Right on the now e from the side of Loud. Yeah, situation ripe for reset. Dash bout out towards B. Should be able to get the spike down as the trips are cleared. The space is gained. The advantage is leaned into it. Seems like it's not getting any better for MIBR. Sadak seems to be coming online. Seems to be coming alive. If he keeps this up, he's making a statement. Oh, he gets dropped down by Liazzi, but he did a very I got you, good I got you. job so far. I mean, he did his job as a Neon. He gets the two kills. He tries to deny some of the space. He forces MIPR back, while the rest of Lyle take a step back, assume their post plan positions, and now the spam begins. The tap comes through. It hasn't gotten to half yet, as Rich has struggled. Guard oh, it's not going to do it, but Lyle... Meanwhile, Paula satcheling back forward to try to take the fight. Liazzi spamming through the wall. Sadok down. He does all that work. Less. Done with you. Has an idea that there might be someone here in the lurking. Mazine managing to get away, avoiding the thrash, staying alive. Mm -hmm. But he's playing really far back. Oh Meanwhile, Artzine's up kind of by himself here. He's pretty he split right now, this flash. Oh, he dodges it, but he gets dropped anyway. Less so quick. And now the paranoia being invested by Pankata towards spawn. They've gotten the real estate. They got what they needed here. And now they can take a step back. Now they can play towards their utility. Now they can play towards spamming through smokes. Here. Yeah. doing a good job of taking space early on pretty quickly, but this raise nade is not going to get value. Something they are probably going to wish they had once they identify no one's playing in the actual site. Oh, I like the way Les is going about this. A reflank in towards mid. So while I might be our, fo our focus with trying to deal with the spam through the smokes, Les can strike when the moment's right, or Palantine can clean it up on his own. But the defuse came through, they stuck. Come out on top. They're just on point. Speaking of on point, that one tap was on point. We, we got to have a one tap counter for this guy. He, he's came into the league and he's had at least, what, four or five in this series? One bullet, one kill. That's ridiculous. So many moments from this guy like this so far already. I, it's kind of crazy. Note here, Cohen's seen one point away from his ult. Seems like they're going to try to split. We've got a lot of space mid here. And they can just push into the smoke and continue to go if they want to. Mazine, wise to it, takes a step back. Yeah. Just less slowly and methodically clearing out this market area. They're going to explode off of this trip. Paul has to be careful. 
Stunned. Rocket hits it onto Les. Preemptively pulling the trigger, but not understanding there's another one on the other side. Two E's. Not striking. Paula punishes three on the round for him. What a round from this kid. Four to close it. No response from MIBR. You look at the minimap. Wow. Not really reacting. Meanwhile, the paranoia out towards B. Also note the ults at loud half. Very fast set play. And yeah, they don't have to invest that breach ultimate. This in the post plant with how they've been already playing them. It's going to be disastrous for MIBR. How do you deal with this? You kind of have to go out with the first layer and not get punished by it. Or it's so hard to execute that. Or just draw it out as early as you can and then reset. The problem is they don't really have enough of the tools of their own to do that. Yeah, they're taking way too long here. Everything rests on the hands of Paula on this flank. Oh, he gets caught by the trip. Off your feet. And Sadak's able to hold the line. Rich will fall. There's the Rolling Thunder that we were talking about. As Sadak was a little bit too far up. Punished by Mazine. A 3v3 for the round. And now the spam starts. Biazzi, he's gotten it to half. He's not moving. An inch. Oh, oh it stops again. So close. Mazine is too far out of the play. From our team starting to creep up mid. He's gonna hear all this commotion. Is Kawazin aware? He uh -oh. is not. Oh no. What? Only gets one though. But it was right on target. How did the bullets not connect? This gives Slout so much more space. They were trapped. But it just wasn't enough. And now the paranoia out towards B intended to manipulate rotations back that way while the rest of the spike, while everything else on the side allowed goes A. It's all up to Rich and his devices left. here. He's all alone. He's got a thrash, but nope. Whoa, okay. That's a great kill. That's a massive start. If he can play his life, if he can stay alive, this is big. Almost converts onto less. Now loud was so much more comfortable the spot to navigate. They invest the rolling thunder with 10 seconds left. Spike not down. He's got to commit to this here. Is there anything to disrupt? That aftershock. Looks like it was going to be enough, but it's not. Two East falls. They managed to get the spike down to 2v2. Mazin and Liazi have to go forward. Pankata falls left, left alone. 70 HP, absolutely right. And so now MIBR with that advantage, Paula falling in a duel that has often gone the way of the new kid. Yeah, and that's a duel that he's been willing to take all half long. This time Sadak, he's, he's ready to punish it. And it's going to be an insta speed up B. Every single time they've gone B, they've converted the post plot. Uh, Artsen has to come up huge here. He has to make something out of nothing. I think the big difference here, though, is that Rich has his ult. They have something to disrupt the post plant. They have something to disrupt the spam. But if they all crumble before they even get to that point, it's not going to matter. And now the thrash is used from so far back. Artsen falls. Liazi. Yeah, I mean, Liazi has to make a play here. It seemed like they had an advantage. They had the conditions to make something up. He's ahead of the smoke. Rich has to be careful. What? He connects. So he puts the wall up, draws enough attention to at least have a couple members here. But look at MIBR. They're a step ahead of this. Liazi's already out. Paula's already out. And that paranoia is going to confirm their suspicions. They were right about their guess. The spike left. is headed B. I feel like if they allow this spike to be spike planted, there. though, it's not going to do them any type of favor. The double flash play. It connects, but they, doesn't. They haven't committed to the spike yet. Tui's on the tap. The falling comes through. 13 seconds left. Numbers the way of MIBR, but control the way of loud. Not committing every single flash. Attempting to be turned as Mazine has gotten a couple. Goes up A. They understand there's some pressure, but they rotated away ahead of it. Now Arzine's already fallen. But look at Paul's position. One. Not able to find a second. And so now Loud can venture forth towards B with confidence, with numbers, advantage again. But is this something they let slip? Spike planted. A 3v3 now, the spike planted. And again, no big ult to cause Rush chaos. It's really just in the hands of Mazine. Can he get the best of Tui's here? Tui's who's been electric all series. Patiently waiting with Crosshair trained. It's heavy. The bullet goes just a bit wide. And now the paranoia out, a thrash in his face. It's got to connect here, and it does. That's going to be the end of Mazine as Rich has gotten it to half. Can Rich and Liazi do it on their own? There's just not enough. There's not enough room for them to breathe. There's not enough space for them to sit comfortably on this. It's gotten down to one. Liazi's gotten three on the round. 
No There's time. just not enough time. They played it beautifully. 